said, Rakate Yahawa, Rakate Yahawa, Rakate Yahawa, Rakate Yahawa, Rakate Yahawa, Rakate Yahawa, First and foremost, I want to give more praises and honor and glory to Yahawa, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Raka Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders who rule with a great stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams in the four kind of to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom, come and listen to feed the elect and the nation of Israel, 144,000 in one third, men, women, and children, contribution of faces who are Israelite. Right? This article was sent to me by a brother. But arrive from GMS Trinidad, right? They said Italy slipped into recession for the third time in a decade, in a, dec in, in a decade, right? You understand? Um, they said Italy, Italy economy fell into recession in the final three months of 2018 in a blow to the economy. It's a governing radical center-right collision which 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 plagued to boost the country um, pers uh, persistently low GDP growth, right? So your, so your GDP is where you, where you, where you, where you make, you know, where you make from your commodities. You understand? So if you if you if you if you grow low and you're spending more than you're making, you understand? Are you paying out more than you're making? It gonna it gonna it gonna collapse your business, right? He said the zero point two percent drop in the eurozone, the third largest economy between October and December, follow a zero point one percent fall in the previous three months. He said the Italian statistic agency said he said decline in GDP growth over two consecutive quarter put Italy in recession. He said it is the third time the country has fallen into recession in a decade. Alright. And so he said um, he said aim weakening growth rate across the across Eurozone which led to the nineteen member currency block increase increasing its GDP by only 0.2% in the final three months of 2018, Italy is likely to be forced to rewrite a forecast of a forecast for growth in 2019. Right? So this is this, this is this will make in 2018 0.2% in the growth in the GB, GDP. Right? Um, he said James James Atti of um, Aberdeen Standard Investment, he said a growth forecast on which the which which the budget was based have already been blown out of the water, and the eurozone growth continued to weaken. Italy is going to have to face up to some real problem, and this all leads up to the RFID microchip. You understand? They're right. The people, they, they're getting ready to done away with, 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 the, with the dollar, with cash. That's why you see Sweden. Sweden is about 90% cashless, likewise China. Right? That's why you see these European, uh, these um, UK companies now talking about microchipping the employees because this, 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 this where we headed to. Right? There's the new, the new world order. Right? And they're going to be the new currency. Which is the RFID microchip because it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand or in the forehead, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right? So this is what all is heading to. Right? This is heading to a, a global economic collapse. So these 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 um um econo economists, right? Econo economists, they 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 already set up to destroy the economy. They is who destroy the economy because the agenda is a what? It's to make the RFID microchip the new monetary system because it is prophecy. It is prophecy. So all this all this thing we're talking about it can get better. We just got to speak. No, it's prophecy. 
the economy got to collapse. The glo is a global economy collapse coming. There is great famine, great death, great mourning, wars, room, uh, wars, pestilence. All these things coming. We need to be hey, we need time of we need, we need to be in the beginning of sorrow. Right, so you can see more of this. Right. Um, they said Italy economy has been strengthened. It says steadily since the right wing league party formed a collision with the anti-establishment five star movement. Right. It said analysts have blamed much. Salakia. Okay, I must try it out. It's a uh, Salakia. It's um. It's a. Uh, it's analysts have blamed much of the. The slum on a running battle between Rome and, Bre and Brussels over the collision plan to increase the budget deficit and simulate the economy with a range of tax cuts and spending increase. So bre when Brexit means Brit Britain exit, you understand? Britain by itself is strong. So when the Britain exit the EU, it can cause a lot of put a lot of pressure on these different, these weak, these weak EU nation economy, right? They're going to put a lot of pressure on them because it's all about collapsing economy, uh, the economy, right? It's all about done away with the dollar to, to implement the RFID microchip. This is where it's headed to, right? This is where it's headed to, right? Um, it's, um, he said that this the dispute run from for months is a hurting economic confidence and driving up Italy borrowing rate. So you gotta go on go to, go to the 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 the, 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 uh, the uh, with this um with this bank name the um the bank with the Rothschilds them own uh way not the federal bank um. Anyway, come to me. I'm gonna bring it out. Our writers are right. So it's um, it's a dispute, dispute, dispute run run for months, hurting economic con confidence and driving up Italy borrowing costs before a settlement was reached, just before Christmas. Right, central bank. The way they are by Shemi You understand? Who run? Who own? Who own? By the Rockchilds, Rockefeller, Dupont, Goldman Sachs, right? the elite banking family, top devils on the on, right on the planet. Italy Prime Minister Gua 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 Supe Connie, so like you pronounce this word right, um, wrong, right? Gua Gua Supe, something like that. Connie, right? Connie blamed the recession on external factor, included trade tension between the U.S. and China, so somebody gotta be blamed because all of these, all of these countries is different chess players that that the elite have in their pocket. You understand? So they're gonna use them. They're gonna use them. Yao Bashim Yao Shek gonna use them to destroy this economy, right? Because the chip gotta become mandatory. That it is prophecy. Revelation 13, 16 and seventeen it is prophecy. So somebody gotta get blamed. In this, they got, they got, they got to make like somebody doing, somebody, somebody rebelling and cause this problem, right? With this different tariff war between China and America, the two largest economy in the world, right? So somebody got to get blamed. You understand? Um, right. What I wanna, what I wanna read? I wanna read something at the bottom here. I run into right. Um, Um, yeah, I want to touch on this here quick. Um, it said Germany, Europe, biggest economy, suffer, suffer an unexpected um, contradiction in the third quarter, largely between because of change in emission standard that the um, dent, dented car seal, right. So Germany, Germany getting hit too because of the car seal and they're going into what different um, the tariff, the tariff um, between America and the and, and, and the Chinese, right? He said Uncert uncertainly over Brit British exit from the EU also weigh on sentiment that is expected to drag down growth 
in the final quarter when the data become available next month. So Brit British exit exit are gonna exit the EU, which is Brexit, gonna put more pressure on these economy, the European economy. You understand? The chip gotta become monetary worldwide. Worldwide the chip gonna become mandatory. Right? That's why it's these devil trying to get control over all the all the oil, all the all the natural resources, they're trying to get control over that. Total dominance. But they're not gonna be successful, they're gonna be destroyed by Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right? He said German retail sales fell at this at their steepest rate since 2007 in December, and export export of cars to China also declined. Yeah, because of what the tariff war and all these things. You understand? He said the dip in the Eurozone uh, fortune could promote you you he said European Central Bank, which predict a 0.4 growth rate in the final quarter to cut its growth forecast by 1.7% for 2019. Right? It's um in separate figure released by by Eurostat, unemployment in Eurozone retained at a 7.9 it's e is equal its lowest rate in more than 10 years in this in December and much it economics forecast right he said the job the jobless rate fell s slightly in Italy and in Spain right is a which still have the highest unemployment level in the eurozone after Greece. So this is European nation being affected by what what going on in the economy, right? So it said it said Italy, Spain, and Greece have the lowest, right? The admission like the highest unemployment rate, um, rate right? in the eurozone right you understand and this prophecy the grinding shall cease and we're gonna cause the grind to cease because the gbt the the salaki so so the gdp it, it, the growth the growth of the gbt the, G, the gdp gonna drop because of the because of the because of the global economy collapse because of the debt that the global the global economy the depths of the global economy that that this that 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 the depth that these different economy worldwide owe to the central bank. You understand? And this work this work this work will bring the pressure. Because these 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 nation these nations can can't pay back the debt the debts that they owe to the central bank. The interest alone, so it all this is part of a collapsing economy. Like I said again, it's his prophecy. The word of Yah Bashem Yahushua gotta be fulfilled. Right? He said that they said the jobless rate fell um, slightly in Italy and in Spain, which still have the highest unemployed unemployment level in the Eurozone after Greece. Across the Eurozone, 75,000 fewer people were out of work than in November. 75,000. And Jake's, hey, Jake's, Jake's, they got Jake's in, they got Jake's in Spain, Jake's in Italy, Jake's in Greece. You understand? Because in, in the best in time empire, Jake's was ruling, ruling, ruling in Europe, in the best in time empire, in the dark age, known as the dark age. So Jake leave his seeds over there. The, the, the prophecies are so that we were scattered among the heathens, right? He said in the, he said in a wider 28th country, European Union, the jobless rate was 6.6 .6 in December, also unchanged from November. So hey, you know, things hey, you could say trouble gonna be on every side. Right? It can be on every side. Right? It can be on every side. This is Yapa. You understand? This is Yapa. Yapa Yapa Yapa. You understand? This is uh um, the second address, right? Chapter 16. Verse 37 said, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, as when a woman with child in the nine months.
bring it forth our son within two or three hours of our birth, great pain come past our womb, which pain, when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. You understand? So great pain and sorrow come into this place. And then pain not going to be slack. Right? Verse 39, he said, Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. So we need time of sorrow. So sorrow shall come upon it on every side. And what's, what's, and what's the sorrow? Let me get it. Uh, Yahweh, shall, Yahweh, Yahweh shall prophesy that who the world ignorant God Jesus is is true name is Yahweh Shai. That is true Hebrew name, right? In the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh Shai means he is salvation. He saved. Right? Who are you gonna save? His people. Who are the Israelites? Right? This is uh Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olive, the disciple came unto him privately, saying, Tell us. When shall these things be? And when shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And the end of the world is, is, is the Soka White Man Empire, the Soka White Man rulership. And this will be seen right now. We see it, we see it, we see the Soka White Man Empire. It, he, he, house, he house divide and his empire being destroyed right before our eyes. Right? So the end of the world is you Soka White people. Right? Second um, Ezra chapter 6. Verse 9 going down there. Esau, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. So you, you Elamites are the end of the world. Right? Verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you. Right? Verse 5. For many shall come in my name saying, I am, a, I am, I am Christ. Right? Which anointed which go back to um, which go back to the Messiah or a leader, right? The word there go back to a Messiah, which is a leader, and shall deceive many, and many gonna be deceived. You understand? Many gonna be deceived, right? For six, and he shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. We hear of wars and rumors of wars. Look at look around, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, Lebanon, Libya. Venezuela, Israel, you look around, Isabella, Isabella, look around and you see, so, hey, in Africa, right? Right, he said, um, and he shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that he be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, for nation shall rise, so a nation shall rise, rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquake in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So things that we see in here right now, economy, economy um, being destroyed, the, the GDP, um, the, it, 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 it dropping. You understand? We seen wars, we seen wars, even more wars and rumors of war. We seen nations up against nation. Right, famine in different places, like in Venezuela, certain part of Africa, certain part of the Afghanistan, right with a drought. You understand? The, all this is the beginning of sorrow. All this is the beginning of sorrow. You understand? This prophecy, right? This prophecy. Uh, this is second, second Ezra chapter six, right? Second Ezra chapter six verse um, twenty two and suddenly the sown place appear on sown. So your sown place is a different gross grocery. So the country so the country they 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 know they 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 make the money off of agriculture. But the most I see you can send a drought on you can send a drought on the on, on the land. Right, let me get a quick the most I see you can send a drought on the land. So the sown place will be on sown, right? This is um. Let me get this here quick. All right. Let me get this. Uh, all right. 
So all this is prophecy. Alright? And the scripture said, desire spiritual gift. Yeah, desire spiritual gift. Prophesy. This is Agai chapter 1 verse 11. And I call for a drought upon the land, and upon the mountains, and upon the corn, and upon the new wine, and upon the oil, and upon that which the ground bringeth forth. Would the ground bring forth? Food. So there's going to be a drought on that. Salakio. Uh, <coughs> Salaki, Salaki. Right? Ah, there's a drought. And what are they going to bring? They're going to bring sorrow. They're going to bring mourning. They're going to bring crying. They're going to bring death. That's what they're going to bring. We, hey, ah, this is the beginning of sorrow. Because a change of power we see in. What we see is a transition of power on the, on the planet Earth. Right? It to Prince. The prince of God standing up and condemning this wicked world. Right? Agai chapter 1 verse 11. He said, and I, and I call for the drought upon the land and upon the mountains and upon the corn and upon the new wine and upon the oil and upon that which the ground bringeth forth and upon men and upon cattle and upon all the labor of the hands. Right? And this will come in. Beginning of sorrow, right? So the economy, the economy, the economy collapsing, the dollar, the dollar, the dollar gonna be destroyed, right? They ain't got famine and mass death and all these things. All this is beginning of sorrow, right? This is um second Ezra chapter 6, verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown place appear on soon, like your grocery, your crops, all these things gonna be gonna, gonna be on come on soon. And the full store shall suddenly be found empty. Your grocery, all this thing gonna be found empty. Got most of these people or they shopping grocery, supermarket, you name it. In Trinidad, we got something that's called mini mart. Or in Ghana, we say a shop, you know. So all these things gonna become empty, become unsoon. Become especially in this island, you not to be good. Seventy percent of your food come off a ship. You understand? All your energy sec that you need come off a ship. And when all these things happen, you know, don't ship them coming down this side. You understand? Don't ship them coming to this place. Alright? Um, this is uh, Ecclesiastes. Because it said, it said, uh, it said, Italy, Spain, and Greece have the, uh, have the highest unemployed, unemployment rate. Alright? That's prophecy too. Alright? This is Ecclesiastes. Right. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter twelve verse three he said he said in that day when the keep of the house shall trim, which is the system, right? The, the system gonna tremble, and the most are gonna destroy it, right? And the strong men bow down themselves, and the grinding cease because they are few. The grinding is jobs, right? Uh, Italy, Spain, and Greece, the highest unemployment rate in in, in the eurozone. Right, he said, and it can get worse. It 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 it, 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 can, it can it can get worse. It it they can infect every. It can infect the global economy, right? He said. Um, he said, and those that look out of the window be darkening. The future will be darkening, right? The future, he said, and the door and the door shall be shut in the street when the song of the grind is low, which is employment, and he shall rise up at the at the voice at the voice of the bird and all the thought of music shall be brought low right so it is this is the time that we come into the time of sorrow right let me get one more close that psalms 107 because the most I, this is the most i doing this this is this is the power you have about bringing hell and destruction this wicked demonic kingdom this place gotta go right this is psalms 107 Psalms 107 for us, um, for us 33, he said he turned the river into wilderness and the water spring into dry ground. So the most I used to do that. He drive this place, right? Verse 34, a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness, for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. So that's what the most I can do because of the wickedness. There is no justice in this, in this, in this world. 
You understand? There's, there's, there is no mercy. You understand? So the most I say, you what? You can do what? Psalms 107, verse 34. A fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. You understand? And that's exactly what's going to happen. That's exactly what's going to happen right? that's exactly what happened to this place. So you Israelites that dwell, dwell among all these heathen, dwell, dwell, dwell in the four kind of earth, you need to repent. Repent and turn back to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, you so can Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian, and you confusion of faith, Israelites need to repent. You understand? <coughs> and turn back to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Because this is the judgment to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, right? Um, let me get a precept there. This is okay to start a precept. Right? You gotta repent. Understand? This is what we gotta do. Repent. Right? Let's see if we find this precept. And then my brother bring out today in a video we do today. <coughs> Let me see if we find it. Uh, paraphrase it. Yeah, this is what we gotta do. We got this, this, this thing, this thing, this thing is globally. This thing will be globally. Right? Uh, this thing is globally. And this is no joke. Right, the most I am playing. This wicked demonic kingdom gotta go. You understand? It's gotta go. Crying out for righteousness. So we can live it. So we can live and, and not die. A lot of people don't wanna live. You understand? Uh, God. This is Luke. Um, to what you about Shem Yahusha. This is Luke chapter 13. Let me start from verse uh, 2. And Yahusha answered and said unto them, Suppose he that these Galileans were sinners above all Galileans, because they suffer such things. So you might see Greece have um, Greece, Spain, and Italy, you know, they tapping the unemployment rate in you in the Eurozone. And we see um Germany dropping car sale, right? When Brexit Brexit uh, looking to leave the European Union, right? We've seen Venezuela in chaos, we've seen Syria and all these places, these things happening. Are you feeling now coming to you? It come in. It come in. You understand? It come in worldwide. Sorrow gonna be on every side. Right? Luke chapter 30, verse 2. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Suppose he that these Galileans were sinners above all Galileans, because they suffer such thing. I tell you, nay, but ex except he repent, he shall all likewise perish. So you Israelites need to repent because you're going to perish with the wicked. You're going to perish with the Edomites, which is the so-called white people. And you're going to perish with these other heathen nations because they are the wicked, they are your enemy. So you Israelites living among these heathens, right, and around the globe need to repent. Salvation is to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And confusion of faith, Israel is scattered among these heathen. Repent and turn back to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. And with that, it was just most edifying. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahushai, Ba Hashem Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders in the Old Tartar Street. You know, may Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahushai, continue to pour a double portion he spread upon the apostles, the elders, to continue to feed his flock and lead us in the way of righteousness and feed us with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahushai. A blessed salutation to the Akiyams across the globe and who do this work in sincerity. Shalom, Shalom to the, to the elect of the nation of Israel. 144,000 and one third men and children. Shall I want?